follows me, the Gothic Republican here, uh, Laver Mordred, and I'm here to, uh, well, I come across with some new information, realizing and proving and uh, disproving the conspiracy theory about David Hogg, um, and I was wrong, I will say that, I will admit that, that he was actually a crisis actor, and he's not really a crisis actor, but... I really think he's part of the FBI's plan to distract the population from what's really going on. That's one of the things that I realize now. But of course, on the gun issue, uh, Democrats will always lose this debate on the Second Amendment rights uh, argument. They always will, and they always, through history, they always lose this argument. So, so to me, when David Hogg, when he spouts off his BS, uh, he's digging in his own grave and basically uneducated. Uh, stats that he, you know, Democrats, you know, talking points of basically BS, you know. I went across Facebook and tried to find David Hogg and uh, try to find somebody who looks similar like him and uh, it says on the arrest, uh, the arrest warrant on that I've, that I've showed of a supposed David Hogg 25 disproved this conspiracy theory. And I found this. Surprisingly, I found somebody's Facebook actually named David Hogg from South Carolina and realizing that are two separate people. And I mentioned about the, in the video of uh, what about David Hogg and I messaged this person from South Carolina and my basically my theory is wrong. I mean, I, I, I did not see this. I did some more digging into it and realizing the truth. And I looked this guy up on basically on Facebook and I discovered, I messaged him and realizing that there's two different heavy dead hogs. They actually look exactly alike with the exact same last name and first name, which is I think is kind of weird. I wrote this message. There's people going around saying you're David Hogg from Florida. And then cuts to this right here. I show him the description. And he said, this is, he's not from Florida at all. Simply enough. And, you know, I, I went through all these messages. You can look through all these messages when you want to and uh, check it out. And he said some pretty... You know, mean, hurtful things to the David Hogg in Florida. So, and I agreed with it. So, and yeah, he, and this is him. They look similar alike. This is strange. So I disproved that theory. Um, but the thing is, I still think David Hogg and his father had a plan. This is the thing. This is my. This is the reality. Here is that they're distracting us, the public, by this anti-gun tirade. I have talked to Jinx about this and speak speak about this. And believe it or not, uh, we both figured this out. We really did. Uh, if you want to check his YouTube channel out, is uh, Jinx, and you just check him out. Also, Congress has set up a bill through by blocking and basically stop contributing from you know Craigslist and different other websites for you know people for like services and stuff like that because of human trafficking. But this might supposedly sound like a good thing, but it's not. It's a lot more harder to catch these human traffickers. If they are eliminated online, this bill is still setting on Congress. Uh, the only thing we have to do is get the president to sign it. But the thing is, I disagree with it. You know why? These sexual predators, they're a lot more easier to catch if they expose themselves online. And it gets them out of the public faster. So this is the one thing I don't get. And I think the FBI is distracting us because they had a rumors about them for human sex trafficking. And David Hogg's dad is part of the FBI. He's probably the plan. He's part of the distraction. So they're distracting everybody from the right and left in the media about this gun control thing by doing stuff behind their back, like human trafficking. That's that's the thing they're trying to do. And the FBI has been uh, controlling this things, have been controlling basically stuff like that for a long time. So they're trying to they're trying to do this under the radar, like if you. Look through the Mockingbird conspiracy theory that the FBI, the CIA, and the NSA controls the news media, college campuses, and news sources. Because it explains a whole lot. The video of the Instagram video that, that sent you that, that David Hogg said he was 25, he was doing it to distract us. He was doing it to basically get all crazy conspiracy theorists to be distracted by the gun issue compared to human trafficking. Yeah, he like he's not even supposed to be in our school. He's like 25 and he's from California. Even though he's my debate partner, what the hell? Shocking. Right. Really? Yeah, he like he's not even supposed to be in our school. He's like 25 and he's from California. Even though he's my debate partner, what the hell? He said this crap on purpose to try to get you know the Alex Jones 
kind of guys, conspiracy theorists, uh, to rile up so his major makes more of a more of a distraction to everybody else. And this little shithead, really, this little shithead had that really mind fucked everybody. When we're all fighting over guns and gun control situations, this shit is happening. This is a video from Jinx. What he did, what he hit the, the bill that has come through Congress, and how much damage it might do to our internet and organizations who are trying to fight against human trafficking. Welcome back, everyone. You see the image on the screen. Have any of you seen anything like this? This is something that uh, you can find on Craigslist recently. So I went to investigate. I'll show you what I found. So normally I would, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad to see that that side of Craigslist is gone because honestly, in the mail for mail section of that part of Congress or that, that Congress that part of Craigslist was really kind of becoming like just like a a fucking petri dish for STDs. As I suppose some people were like responsible about it, but I, it's just the things like that I wasn't I, like I never got into it. Just didn't seem safe, kind of seemed stupid, but so I wondered though like <clears throat> what was going on on here. Okay, so this uh, this was passed by Congress. H.R. 1865 allows states and victims to fight online sex trafficking act of 2017. Sponsors Representative Wagner, House uh, Judiciary, 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 <laughs> Energy and Commerce. Okay. Roll call votes. There have been four roll call votes. Okay, so anyway, in this, I, I, I wanted to see what this was about. This bill expresses the sense of Congress that Section 230 of the Communications Act. Oh, so you are are doing things with getting rid of net neutrality you're taking control over our internet wonderful because sex trafficking was so big in the united states not really but we can pretend uh section 230 of communications act of 1934 was not intended to provide legal protection to websites that unlawfully promote and facilitate prostitution okay prostitution i get it okay and websites that facilitate uh, traffickers uh, in advertising the sale of unlawful sex acts with sex trafficking victims. It's not something that really happens in the United States. It's not running rampant. That's more of other countries. Prostitution, yeah, that, that totally takes place, but that was still illegal even before you did this, and people who were posting prostitution things on Craigslist did it um, in kind of an underhanded way so that it wasn't, well, I mean, it was obvious to the people that was looking, but it wasn't abundantly obvious that that's what they were doing. They kind of had code words and stuff for it. But anyway, uh, Section 230 limits the legal liability of interactive computer service providers or users for content they publish that was created by others. What? The problem is with this, all the dating sites, all the Craigslist sites of meeting up with people are going to be gone because of this bill because the, you know, the distributor, the website will be responsible. But the issue is, they shouldn't be responsible of that, of that issue. You know why? Because who does, who uses these sites as well to catch sexual predators, to catch prostitution? Cops, law enforcement, agencies, sex trafficking agencies to go against sex trafficking, they use this to catch these people. It makes it more easier. Have you ever seen the TV show How to Catch a Predator? Basically, that wouldn't happen. The, the issue is that if you got rid of Craigslist and all these other sites, you're leaving 
countless people who should be caught by doing this. And it makes it so much easier for people who are, you know, who fight against sex trafficking and prostitution. It makes it more easier to catch the prey. That's the point. This is why I disagree with this law. And this is why I don't trust the FBI doing this. And this is a major distraction because... We hear for so many people who have been sex trafficked, we hear so many stuff from online, basically uh, from other news sources, about human sex trafficking through the FBI agency and FBI agents. This is an issue that I might grow larger. And some of these FBI agents who run these sex organizations can do it under the radar easily. So this is the issue that I have about this bill. And this is a major distraction. The whole gun issue is a major distraction to distract us from this. I might want to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Uh, comment and like under uh, my page. Uh, if you want to, check out on my Facebook page, Gothic Republican, if you want to. I will talk to you guys later. And uh, I, to be honest with you, uh, just uh, it's hard for me. I work two jobs, so it's hard for me to make videos. But i talk to you guys later. I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. God bless America. And I'm going to get myself a new tattoo today. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.